the microsperm mother cells which are present inside the pollen sac will undergo meiosis that is what we consider as a reduction division so when any cell is undergoing reduction division the number of daughter cells which are formed will be 4 and here the microsperm mother cell as it is undergoing meiosis we can consider this as a meiocyte any cell which is undergoing meiosis is called as meiocyte and uh, as we know that in meiosis two times the cell will divide and also the nucleus and resulting into four haploid cells and uh, these are called as microspores or we can call as tetrad of microspores why because tetrad means four are present and all the four are not separated as and when they are divided they have been binded with the help of an uh, specialized complex organic material called as callose the callose is a structure which is helping in attachment of the four microspores and they always remain as one structure only and each of the cell in the microspores is haploid in condition so four microspores are formed and when the callose is uh, gradually dissolved so what happens the tetra from this tetrad all the four microspores are separated each other and they are now called as uh, individual microspores or we can also call them as a uh, pollen grains and of course as i said that they are already haploid in condition because they are formed as a result of meiosis and any cell which is formed as a process of meiosis we call that as a meiospore so now we can call these microspores or pollen grains as meiospores microspore mother cell is called as meiocyte and microspores or pollen grains are called as meiospores and as i said the tetrad of microspores are present so in which manner does these microspores are arranged inside the tetrad let's see that in the form of diagrams here so one is a tetrahedral in the tetrahedral form they the cells which have been divided will be arranged in this manner this is called as tetrahedral arrangement actually we can see the uh, three microspores here but one more microspore is present on other side of this uh, three cells so we call this arrangement as a tetrahedral and this is most common type of arrangement and uh, sometimes they may also be arranged in a linear form linear form is all the four microspores are arranged in the straight line like this so we call it as a linear arrangement of the microspores sometimes they may, they may arrange in decussate form or sometimes in the t shape also the t shape the arrangement will be like this so like this the cells are in the form of a t shape so like this uh, they are arranged in five different forms so out of this most common is a tetrahedral which is uh, uh, where the four cells are arranged in this manner and of course here between the two microspores this part which is we call it as a callose wall which is hel helping in holding the microspores in the si as a single unit so this is these are the shapes which are which have been formed uh, based on the arrangement of the microspores here then let's come to the next part of this one so as we are say as we have written the heading as a microsporogenesis that is uh, genesis means formation the formation of the microspores already we had discussed that uh, the microspore mother cell will undergo meiosis and converted into tetrad of microspores and from the tetrad four microspores are separated so this entire process from microspore mother cell to the formation of microspores is called as a microsporogenesis and uh, generally the number of spores which are formed will be four but exceptions are there but of course here uh, the most common pattern we are going to discuss here that is a tetrad form or tetrahedral form and where the four microspores are formed from each microspore mother cell 
and where does this microsporogenesis is taking place? So, this process is taking place when the microspore mother cells are present inside the anther only or inside the microsporangium only or we can say that precocious uh, formation we call it as because as it is taking place inside the parent uh, structure that is a uh, anther or the microsporangium. So, this process is called as microsporogenesis where the diploid structures are converted into haploid structures.